No, I haven't. Sorry. Now it's there. All right. So I hope you guys have done the rest of these. And if you do have uh, trouble in any of those, do, do let me know. But I genuinely I think that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think it's quite interesting. Question 21. Yeah, 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 your microphone is not good. Anyway, tell me which one. This one. Yes. Can you write it down? This one. Okay. It says the driver stops. Yeah. He says the driver stops his car in time T for gradually increasing the total braking force on the car. The graph shows this. So if you look at this graph, this is between force and time. That's the resultant force. Okay. Resultant force is equal to MA. So mass of the car is constant, but can we say acceleration is changing, which means this graph is essentially with respect to acceleration time. What do you see happening here? Is the acceleration increasing, decreasing? What is happening here? It is increasing, right? If the acceleration is increasing, and this is the braking force, so obviously the car is going forward and the force is backwards, which means that that's where the acceleration is too. So the speed of the car is going to reduce, but now with an increasing acceleration. So the graphs that are given to us are basically uh, speed time, and we should understand all of them the gradient of these graphs are equal to uh, the acceleration, right? So we want a negative acceleration, an increasing one. Can you tell me which graph would that be? So to do that, you can make tangents, right? If you make a tangent here and here, so the tangent getting flatter. So gradient is, it is negative, but gradient is not increasing, it is decreasing, this is wrong. This is staying constant, wrong. This is varying, like this isn't varying, but this is varying, like it was increasing and then decreasing, so this is wrong. So the only answer is that it's basically increasing, it's negative, so it has to be D. Do you understand, Yeah. Another question for this. Yeah, I don't understand, sorry. Right again, please. Question for this before. Yeah, can you type please or use another device because I honestly cannot understand what you're saying. Which question are you talking about? Just write in chat, question please. Six. Question six. Uh this one? No. This one? No, sir. This one. Okay. All right. So in this question, you guys should understand that when, although it's a frictionless surface, uh, it moves up the slopes PQ along the surface QR and finally descends RS. So from P to Q, from P to Q, obviously it's going to decelerate. But because the slope is constant, so it's going to decelerate at a constant rate. So it has to be either this, this, this. It cannot be this. Because in this, the speed is increasing, so it's not decelerating. Then when it reaches here, obviously, there's no slope. So it will continue to go at constant speed. This shows constant speed. This shows constant speed. This doesn't. So it means this is also a wrong answer. And then if you look at it, when it comes here, it is going to go down. So it's going to accelerate. It will accelerate in this and, um, and at a higher value. The reason why higher value, because it has, you know, uh, more slope. So which of these two graphs like this and this? Okay. Wait a second. So this is the same amount of time. But if you look at it. 
Yeah. Now, the interesting thing is there is a little bit complexity in the last one because this is also showing acceleration at a greater rate. This is also showing acceleration at the greater rate. But the thing is that uh, I just want to see. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the whole question, you might see that S is much higher than P. You guys agree? If S is much higher than P, so obviously at this point, it cannot have a larger velocity because now it gains like gravitational potential energy and it must, you know, lose gravitational potential energy, but it has not lost the same amount of gravitational potential energy. So the velocity at that should be, yeah, it should be uh, less than that. It's not true. Yeah, so it should be A, not C. All right. Because C shows, C shows that it has greater velocity. It cannot gain energy. So it must not, you know, gain the same amount of energy. It should gain the same amount of energy or lose it, but it cannot gain more energy. So that's why it's wrong. Do you guys understand this? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's why it has to be. Anything else? Well, he's not very late, very bad. All right. But I came from college right now. Okay. Good. All right. Any other thing? Can I go to the next question, please? Sir, P2 question number one. And the last graph where we had to draw a graph. This one? No, this, the next one. Yeah, this graph. We had to sketch this graph. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, what you want to do? You want me to help you with the graph? Okay. So, let's do it full anyway. So, first of all, he's saying what is determined the magnitude of average velocity between 5 and 35. I know where 5 is. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, 5 would be, I think, if this is 20... One, two, three, four, five. This will be 10, and this will be 5. And then uh, 35 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So somewhere, somewhere in the middle, right? So it's going to go like this. And that that's almost like a trapezium. So you can find the distance like from here and subtract. Sir, what is here. trapezium? Like which one is trapezium? This one. Don't you know what is a trapezium? Suhail? I know, I know, but how does it form? This looks like a triangle. This is a triangle. It starts from here. Goes here. Triangle should start from here. How come it is a triangle then? Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Anyway, that's not even required. So you should remember that basically this is like, if this is 100, this is 20, this is 40. And then this is like 580. So 40 minus 580 is 540. And 540 divided by 30, that would give you whatever. Okay, every speed. But now this is the real question. Anyway, let's do this. So you need to translate this graph into this. So first of all, let's look at what happens till uh, five. Okay, no, no, this is not five actually. This is like two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so this is like four. Up till four seconds, you might realize that the this is an increasing gradient. Do you guys understand this? So whatever gradient we're going to look at here 
is going to show us velocity and then we're going to plot it here. So till four seconds, which is basically this much, you have increasing gradient. Increasing gradient means increasing speed. So um, we're going to do that, right? So sketch the variation with, we only need to do the variation, fine. So it's going to be increasing speed and from zero to some value. I don't know what that value is and I don't think they have asked for the value. They probably have asked for the value, but, but that's fine. So um, on average, it's sort of, you know, here it's it covers almost like, if you realize it's like four seconds and it almost covers like 10. So I would say on average, it is like, no, it covers 20. 20 divided by four is five. And the maximum it goes, the maximum speed it reaches is somewhat like, I would say 620, 640. 640 divided by, um, this is like around 40. 42 and 44. Can you guys please do this? Let me know what is the answer. Fourteen point five five. Fourteen. So basically what you can do is you can make it like this. You can make graphs like, um, yeah, you can say it's uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, fifteen, like that. Now we can actually draw the graph. So till this, it goes like five, like that. And then okay. So then it's it it basically stays like um, constant. Then it becomes constant velocity till uh, let's say this point, which is somewhat like, I think 40, um, 22, 4, 6, 8, 10, 30, 32, 34, and 36. So till next 36 seconds, which is like, like here, it stays constant. It goes up it stays constant. Do you guys understand this? Till here. Then, so why is it constant? Because you see, again, look at this. If you go from displacement, what you guys need to understand is that if you go from displacement time to velocity, right, time, you, you are looking at the gradient, no? And if you go to acceleration, you're looking at gradient. Do you agree? Like that. Can you tell me what is the gradient of line from 4 till 36? What is that? It's increasing. No. What is the gradient of this line? Only the gradient. Go back. Did I tell you this, this line represents constant gradient and positive? Remember? Go back to your rule book. Yeah. Here, you see? So, in this section, what I'm saying is that in this section, let's call this, this section was A. Let's color this blue, okay? This section. In this section, we are saying this is B. So in B, can we say the gradient is constant? Yeah. And positive. If the gradient is constant, this is a displacement time graph, can we say it is constant velocity? And positive. Yes. So that's what I've drawn. Do you understand? Constant velocity. Yes. And in this one, it was increasing velocity. So increasing till that value. Understood? Yes. Now, then, what is happening from this to 44? Let's do another color. This one. Orange. What do you say? 
it is decreasing gradient decreasing velocity you agree and become zero exactly horizontal understood so can i make it like till 44 can i do it like this then you see mm -hmm. yes now let's color more let's do it like till this point which is exactly like 44 46 48 50 52 so till 52, can you tell me what is happening? The velocity is increasing. The, the velocity is increasing, time. but in the negative direction. You guys agree? So for the next 44 to 52, which is, I believe, uh, from this point, it's like one, two, three, four dots ahead. One, two, three, four. Basically, it's gone through the same five positions. One, two, three, four, five. And it is now negative and increasing in the negative direction. Do you understand? Yes. Till 100. The pink. Till what do you say? Is it possible? Let's decide that. It's one straight like constant gradient. Everybody agrees to the what does that mean? That your voice is like. Sir, I cannot even hear. I'm sorry, everyone. I don't know what's happening to my internet these days. Anyway, you guys understand this? Yeah. Okay. Wait. wait, I need to start and stop again. Goodness. Okay. So what I'm saying is now, if you look at that your voice is lagging badly. The whole thing is it's negative and still 100. Let me change the internet. Huh? Wait a second. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Now it will be fine. I learned something new today. Okay. So, everyone, can you hear me now? Is it all right? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, what I'm saying is, do you guys understand why it was a flat line at the end? Or should I? Yeah. Again. Okay. So, the thing is, you have to, you know, uh, for these type of questions, obviously, I pasted it because it's difficult. But you just need to break it into different parts and obviously then you can do it so that's cool is there anything else that i can help you with okay now coming back to the sir, to, yes Ron. the question we just did uh, the one above it is homework it was homework but you guys didn't do it so I had to do it, but it, you can. It's fine now. No, sir. The above one, above this. Yeah, yeah. That's some work. Okay. That's, some, that's easy. That's very easy. Okay. So um, this one, this is uh, basically this question is truly hard, and the reason why it is hard because you need to interpret the graph as well, and then you need to figure out some values as well. So we're going to do this. It will clear your understanding a bit, and then we're going to go uh, forward. So it says use figure two point one to describe without calculation the speed of the stone from this to this. So first of all, I would like to tell you, this is a displacement diagram. So what it shows is that it is like going up. It's covering some displacement. So it's basically vertical motion. It goes up. And at this point, if you see, it's basically a flat tangent, which means it had reached the maximum uh, velocity. Sorry, maximum height, where velocity is zero. And that maximum is right here. And I think, according to my brain cells right now, it's one, two, three, four, five. So I think if this is like one, and this is like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is 1.5, then this value should be 1.25. You guys agree? And then, it obviously, it starts falling down and it reaches here, which is this point. <coughs> this is where the displacement is zero because it has reached the same point. So it must have been something like somebody has thrown it up and now he's also standing on a cliff. So it goes up and now it continues to fall down. That is the reason it goes into the negative realm. And this happens um from one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it has to be 2.5 seconds do you guys understand this so i just drew uh, a, a a diagram to help me understand what's happening here and now it says describe what happened so i'm gonna say for two marks number one ball okay it's a throw it's a stone stone thrown upwards and decelerates to zero till 1.25 seconds. Then 
फॉल्स बैक डाउन एंड कॉन्टिन्यूस टू फॉल टिल थ्री सेकेंड्स और एंड सो दैट्स व्हाट आई एम गोना राइट ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट यू शुड बी डूइंग फॉर टू मार्क्स यू कैन आल्सो राइट दैट ऑब्वियसली maybe it has fallen more distance but i think that that would not have any credit but you can write that it has fallen more distance vertically down than it was thrown off so that's also one thing then it says assume a resistance negligible therefore the stone has constant acceleration calculate for the stone the speed at 3 so they want you to find the speed at 3 now such questions are typically harder because the thing is you don't know the displacement and you can't you know just read off because they haven't given anything but we do know that the object let's suppose this is our starting point so object goes up and then it reaches the maximum height and then from there it has gone down and this whole process is done in 3 seconds right so when it was thrown up the velocity it had we don't know right but we do know that at 1.2 seconds like 1.25 seconds its initial velocity must be zero it is right here and it has gone here and the time it has taken from falling from this point to this point is uh 3 minus 1.25 because this is where it took 1.25 seconds do you guys understand this so can you find the change in time please 3.0 minus 1.25 what do you guys say 1.3 0.1.75 okay 1.75 now we write suvat fill up what's left we do not have the displacement unfortunately we have the initial speed we want the final we know that when something is falling down in the same direction as gravity we take it as 9.81 right and positive and then time is 1.75 which equation should we use v is equal to u plus at क्या बात है वेरी नाइस सो देन वी आर सेइंग दिस इज लाइक वी दिस इज जीरो दिस इज 9.81 एंड द टाइम इज लाइक 1.75 व्हाट यू गेट हम 17.2 17.2 मीटर्स पर सेकंड डू यू गाइस अंडरस्टैंड दिस so my advice to you is that always draw always point all right so that all will right. help you like stuff yes <laughs> yes yes tell me okay hello you guys can hear me yes sir yes yes okay. i thought my my hotspot has gone okay never mind let's go forward it's flawlessly working anyway then says the distance traveled from uh, like distance traveled from 0 to 3 now this is a very interesting question right and displacement because distance means that we need to add this section plus this section plus this section irrespective of, of their signs because distance is not related to that right so we're going to do that let's see sir can we count the boxes no we cannot because we do not have the values on the graph beta and this is not a velocity time graph this is a displacement time graph you can't count the boxes my bad you have to use the formulas yeah okay now let's let's look at it so what you're going to do is you're going to see you're going to say all right you do have the values like you do have you see this distance and this one do you guys agree this is similar like the same 
like going yeah. up and going back to if i could just find this distance i can then multiply it by 2 and that add this distance it would be the same no that's why yeah, it's three mark yeah so yeah. think about it now so what you're going to do is you're going to say displacement and like this you want to find the displacement <laughs> from this point which is 1.25 till this point which is 2.5 so we want to find the displacement the initial velocity was zero the final velocity we don't know this what we know i know is that acceleration is 9.81 and the time is from 2.5 to 1.25 if you subtract it the net time is 1.25 do you guys understand this you know so the time within the first dune right yeah yeah exactly so going up and going back to the same position has the same time 1.25 seconds right oh yeah. okay yes sir so you have divided it into two and then you will multiply it by two because yeah yeah it will be the same yeah yeah exactly exactly what you saying is correct wait a second okay so we're taking 1.25 which equation should we use uh, i believe s equals to ut Plus half a t square. So we want to find this. This is zero. This is half. This is nine point eight one, and this is one point two five whole square. Can you please find displacement? So there are three parts of the question, right? So it has gone up. Let's call this first part. It, from here, it has gone down. Second part, and from this point, it has further gone down. Third part. So we're finding the distance. Seven point six six. Twelve point. Seven point seven. Seven point six. Okay. Seven point six six meters. So this is seven point six six meters, right? This and this distance are similar. So one point one is also seven point six six meters. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Now we don't know. We don't know this part, right? So we don't know the initial velocity here. We just know the final velocity here. So we can find for the third one. You can say s u v a t. We want to find the displacement in this one. Uh, the initial velocity we don't know, right? The issue is that that would be the final velocity here. So either you do that or you don't do that. Let me think about it. You have the final velocity, then how how would we do that? Uh, that would be very difficult. So instead of doing this, what you can do is instead of you know finding velocity here, what we can do is we can simply find the total distance. From here to here. Okay, so now the displacement is s. Um, that's what we need. Initial velocity is zero. Final we have that is seventeen point two, and the acceleration is nine point eight one. And the time is basically from this point it was one point two five minus this to which is. Uh, we can use two as is equal to v square minus u. Yeah, exactly. Can you do that? Can you or you can use two u u t as well? Can you find the total displacement, please? Yes, Alim sir. Tick tock. D D D D E I. uh ha nahi se ha ha yeah aap aise kare aap mujhe whatsapp message kare i'll send you the location you can come and check the phone agar aapko pasand aata hai bhej dena kyunki i'm also busy right now to office mein hum kaam kar rahe hain uh yaar 5000 chhod denge aur kya kar sakte hain ha 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 नहीं, आप चेक कर लो यार पहले देखो चीज अगर आपको ठीक लगती है देनी बाइट ना तो यू कैन ऑलवेज बार जी यार आई डोंट नो ऑनेस्टली यू कैन चेक योर सर आई नो व्हाट दैट मींस ठीक है आप देख लें यूज होने जा रहे थोड़े बहुत ठीक है ठीक है 
हाँ विजय भट्ट सागर ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू ओके और राइट गाइस यू गॉट द आंसर प्लीज हेलो Twenty. Two point seven three. Okay, who's going to tell me why this answer? Sir, how about the other part? Which part? Because we had to do seven point six six times two. No, what I did was I knew that this distance is also this one, right? You agree? So instead of finding yes. this separately, what I've done is I found. Distance from this point to this point added them together, so I got this one. Do you understand? So this yes. answer is absolutely wrong. You know why? Because it is not correct to significant figures, right? So what should I write here? Twenty-two point seven. Twenty-three point seven. Either twenty-two point seven or twenty-three. Do you guys understand? These are correct answers. Okay, very good. Now you guys understand. Now it says displacement. If I say that this displacement is positive because it's upwards, and this displacement is negative because it's downwards, so if I add them, what you get? I think it should be like six point seven something. Seven point four one. Seven point four one negative, right? So it will be seven point four one, but now the direction downwards. has to be down. Why downwards? Yes. Because I have taken down as negative. Do you guys understand this? Very good. Yeah. Okay, both Hatijas and uh, Ali and okay, why are there two Muhammads today? Okay, and Yaya and Zahan, Aman. Yes, sir. Jawaria. Okay. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. Samad Ayan. Yes. Okay. Very good. So I hope you guys understand. You have a bit of you know a clear concept of how and when basically you have to use the key pivotal point where uh, the maximum height, uh, the speed is zero, and you can solve a lot of problems through that. This otherwise it would have been really really difficult. But now. <laughs> Let's do this. So now let's check what is happening. First of all, let's look at from this point to this point. So it started off as a decent, you know, gradient, and then it ended at zero, which means that in the first section it goes from some form of velocity, and then it becomes zero. Do you guys agree? Yes. Yes. The issue with this, uh, you just need to draw the variation of this, and the thing is, it is three marks. We need to find the initial speed as well. Okay. Now, how do we find initial speed? So you will use SUV AT again, and I'm going to go through the first part only. In the first part, you have initial speed as V. Final was zero. We knew that. Seven point six six was the distance, right? And uh, what else? Okay, so displacement was seven point six six, initial velocity was u, final was zero, acceleration. Now because we're going up, and acceleration due to gravity is down, so we're going to take it as negative nine point eight one. Always remember that. And the time is one point two five. Which equation should we use? I think it's best to use this one, right? Easiest one. Zero. This negative nine point eight one, one point two five. Can you please find initial velocity then? Was that twelve point two six? Twelve point two six, which is thirteen. Uh, all right, sorry, which is twelve point three, right? So what you're gonna do is you wanna go here. You're gonna make like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This is the reason I'm doing this. So 12.2 would be somewhere here. You're going to start here. And at 1.25, which is basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, exactly here, the velocity is basically, there is a gradient like here. If you see the gradient is positive, first of all, it is decreasing. So which means velocity is positive, starts from positive value and it is decreasing, which means I'm going to go from here in a straight line. Do you guys understand? So it shows a positive velocity decreasing. Is that clear? Okay. Then what, what I'm going to do is, and you have to do it with a ruler, by the way, not like me using hands. Let me just use a, like this. <laughs> so exactly at 1.25, it reaches zero velocity. Then what happens? It From here, it is going down with increasing velocity till 17.2. So we're going to find 17.2 on a graph. And they're very clever. They've given a larger graph here. So one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Seventeen would be somewhere. Seventeen point two will be here. So I'm going to go till three to this point. Basically, I'm going to continue this line till three anyway. And because it is falling with the same acceleration. So the line will just continue straight. Now, the reason why the line has constant gradient, even if they ask you this, you should remember, because the acceleration is always downwards. And constant. It's 9.81. That's why. Do you guys understand this? Yes. yes, sir. Okay, very nice. Then you should <coughs> write it down. Okay. All right. Okay, so I believe we are done here. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I was supposed to basically start with area under the graph, but unfortunately, today it would not be possible. But I'm going to take one extra class. I also missed it probably before, so we'll see. Okay. If you have any more questions, you do this, complete this. This is a long chapter. It will take some time, obviously. But once it's done, other chapters are quite short. 